Hi everybody. So so we got an unexpected surprise and under the gazebo in our backyard that I just gotta show you. So let's go take a look. Hi, hi doggies. Say, say, say hi doggies. Okay. I should have worn my sunglasses. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna just. And. Ta da! Can you, can you see it? Well, let me get closer. Ta da! See that? We got a bird nesting under, un, under the roof in, in, the, in the gazebo. Now, don't be alone. Now, I've been some of you are thinking, "Well, that's a once in a lifetime thing," but I don't, but I, I don't think so because <laughs> these birds, those birds, have been here for a long time. See over there? There used to be a big pine tree over there. Oh, we cut, but it was getting so big we had to cut it down and that, and eventually kick them out of their home. So instead of leaving, they just, they just stayed here. And right now, they got a nest where I can just where I can see them. So let's get a, so let's get a good van. So let's get a, I, if I'm right and I could be wrong, correct me if, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's a I think that's um what's it called? Morning morning dove. It's a, it's a type of, it's a dove, but I think that might be a I think that's a morning dove. The husband's somewhere around here, but I don't know where. It's uh, it stands as lookout. Anyway, let's get let's get a good look. Let me put the cam, let me put the cam camera down so you get yeah, so we can yeah, so we can get a good view shot. Hang on a minute, let me fix this real quick. Can you see it better now? Good. Good. Hold on. Let me just set up. That's my timer I'm setting. Okay. That's good. Put you inside during the duration of this of this film. Okay, look at me out of here. So, lay down. <laughs> lay down. Stop. Don't lick me. Don't. Lay down. Lay down. All right. It's a. As for what type it is, it's a col. It's a col. Columbidia. Pigeons it does con. con Constituent, constituent, constitute the animal, the animal family Col Columbia, and the order of Col Columbia form formies, which includes about 42 gen genera and three, 310 species. The related word Columbine refers to pigeons and doves, not the Columbine High School or Columbine Massacre, or you get the idea. Not any of that. So don't get the wrong idea. They are they are stout stout body birds with short necks and short slender bills that in some species feature fleshy series. They primarily feed on 
on seeds, fruits, and plants. This family occurs world, worldwide, but the greatest variety is in the Indomalaya and Australasia ecozones. Pigeons and doves are, are likely the most common birds in the world. Now let's Katie! Stop it! Now, the morning dove. The morning dove, no, Zeneadia Makura, I'm just trying to pronounce it the best I can, is a member of the dove family, Columbidia. The bird. The bird, no, where was I? The bird is also known as the American morning dove or the rain dove. And Eric. Orion Orion easily I'm trying to pronounce that word as the turtle dove and was once known as the Carolina pigeon or Carolina turtle dove. It is one of the most abundant and widespread of all North American birds. It is also a, a leading game bird with more than 20 million birds up to 70 million in some years, shot annually in the US both for sport and for meat. Sorry to say that little guy. Its ability to sustain its population under such pressure is due to its prolific breeding. In warm sea areas, one pair may raise up to six broads of two young each year in a in, of two young each in a, in a single year. Let me sorry. Let me let me try again. Sorry. One pair may raise up to six broods of two young each in a single year. The wings may make it an unusual whistling sound upon takeoff and landing, a form of sun sunation. The bird is a stronger, strong flyer capable of speeds of speeds up to 80 kilometers an hour, 55 miles per hour. If you want to know what, the, and if you want to know what the dove sounds like, here it is. Huh. Sorry. I guess it, I guess that doesn't that thing doesn't have sound. I'll try it. I'll try something else. Hang on. Uh, here's a way. Here's a way to identify. Here's a way to identify the mo the morning dove. Ad adult gray above, above with large black spots on the wing coverts and pale peach colored below, with a long thin tail. Note the thin black bill and pinkish legs. Another, another one. Adult. In flight shows a long fan-shaped tail with large white tips. Its wings make a distinctive high-pitched whistle in flight. Hold on. Sounds like. Hang here. Can you hear it? Oh, my bad. That might be not the morning call. That might not be the sound. So, it just... 
Anyway, back to where we're... Sorry about that. Ju juveniles look similar to adults, but with small white tips to most of the upper part fe parts feathers and white markings in, in, in the face. Shows a black... Shows a black... Adults show, shows a black mark on the side of the neck that can be hidden depending on the angle. Adult. Note small round head, straight, thin bill, and long pointed tail with white edge. Often found in backyards and neighbors, like this, like our, like my backyard here. Let's see, this is it. Again, not. I really want to show you what it sounds like. I'm hoping I can get to that point. Adult, adult constructs small flimsy nests in the variety of trees and bushes. And I guess that might be a, a that type of nest. Adult often occurs in flocks, sometimes quite large, and perches probably in a prom prominently in various in a variety of habitats. Nest in a flimsy pile of twigs or needles arranged on a flat surface such as a tree branch, gutter, rail, railing, or... Oh! Look at that! There's the husband. I showed up. I'm back to this. And there it goes again. Oh! Think we got us at the bird fight. And the dog just went right after them. <laughs> anyway, how was that? Don't worry, don't worry, Missy, you're safe. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. Could this be the sound? Or just another? Or just an example of a nip? Just another. Now. Ad typically, adults typically feed on the ground in the open and usually in small groups, often comes into platform feeders and to seeds, seeds scattered on the ground. That's hopefully this is it. <laughs> You're funny, Odie. Once again, nope. And I could, we could compare with other does, but I don't think we have. I don't think, I don't think there's time. So we'll just, you'll just have to find that online. The size and shaped, plump bodies and long and long tailed, with short legs, small bill, and a head that looks particularly small in comparison to the to the body. The long pointed tail is unique among North American doves. Really, well, to say, smaller, slender than rock pigeon. Measurements: male, length 9.1 to 13.4 inches, 23. Point 23 to 34 centimeters weight 3.4 to 6.06 6 ounces 96 96 to 170 grams wingspan 17.7 .7 inches 40 45 centimeters female 3.3.0 3 to 5.5 ounces 80 86 86 to 156 6 grams wingspan 17.7 .7 inches 45 centimeters Color and pattern. Warning doves often match their open country surroundings. They de they're delicate brown to buffy tan overall, with black spots on the wings and and black colored wing tips to tips to the tail feathered. It's 
It's hard to it's hard to tell these guys are lying. But if I'm but if I'm wrong, but if I'm wrong on what type of bird that is, you correct me. It's Robin's size, by the way. I forgot to mention. Behavior: Morning does fly fast on powerful wing beats, sometimes making sudden ascents, descents, and dodges. Their pointed tails stretching behind them. Habit habitat. You can see morning doves nearly anywhere except the deep woods. Look for them in fields or patches of bare ground, or on overhead perches like tele like telephone wires. You want to read more about it? Just go to all about www.allaboutbirds.org, and you can find the morning dove information about that. So move, moving right along. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, here we go. I think this might be. Ah, here we go. This is this is what I need to look for. Let's see. Hey! He left the nest. This could be a chance of a lifetime. Let's see. Are there any eggs? Well, that might have been the bird just heard. Let's see. I can't tell. Is that an egg? I can't get any higher, unfortunately. But anyway, while we wait for the bird to return. I think it's around here. I hear it. It's close. Let's see. Stupid. Can you see it? Higher than that. There it is, right there. I wish I had a footstool or something I could just stand on. Hang on, I'll be right. Hang on, let me see if I can find something. That might, that might work. Careful here. Okay, good. Make sure nothing's underneath. Good. I hate to be, hang on. I hate to get bit by something. That would really, that would really, that would really mess my day. Let's see. Well, what do you know? There really is an egg. I think that is an egg. Comment down below if that's an egg. I can't wait till it hatches, can you? And I'll be sure to film it as soon as it does. Anyway. Okay. While I wait for it to come back, hopefully it comes back.
Come on, get right. Oh, blast it. Come on. This is tough. Adrian. Okay. Ah, come on. I guess I'll have to do. Hopefully. I guess that was it. Okay. Morning dove. Zin Zinaida Makarura. Order Colum Columbia for Formies. Family Columbia Columbia Dia. Habitat open woodlands. Food seeds. Nest nesting nesting tree. Behavior gr ground for forger. Con conser conservation low concern. Basic description: A graceful, slender tail, small, small-headed dove that common, that's common across the continent, North America. That is. Morning, morning does perch on telephone wires and forages for seeds on the ground. Their flight is fast and bullet straight. Their so, their soft, drawn-out calls sound like le, le, laments. When taken off, their wings make sharp whist, whistling or whi, or whining. Morning, do morning doves are are the most frequently hunted species in North America. To find this bird, look for morning doves on telephone wires and similar perches throughout your neighborhood, or keep an eye on patches of bare ground where the birds gather to stock up on seeds and grits. Other names: Julioto comuna, that's Spanish; Tor Tortilla trista, that's French. Here's the backyard tips. Scatter seeds, particularly millets, on the ground or on platform feeders. Plant dense shrubs or ever or evergreen trees in your yard to provide nesting sites. Keep your cats inside. Birds that spend much of their time on the ground are particularly vulnerable vulnerable to prowling cats. Find out more about what this bird likes to eat and what feeder is best by use, using the Project Feeder Feeder Watch comp. Common feeder bird birds bird list. Consider putting up a nest nesting cone to attract a, a bre breeding be pair. Make sure you you put it up well before breeding season. Find out more about nest boxes and other ways to provide nesting structures on our uh, on their attract birds page. I'm I'm at all I'm on allaboutbirds.org by the way. You'll find plans for building a nest nest box of the up appropriate size on on all on all about birds site here's some cool facts during during the breeding season you might see three morning doves fly flying in tight formation one after another this is this is a form of social dis display There's the bird. There's one of them. Here we go. 
There it is. Come on. Get... There it is. Got it. Sorry if you can't see it, but I need... The other's here somewhere. Anyway. Oh, man. There. I guess that'll do. Wait. Sorry. I had to... It's still there. Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Typically... The Typically the bird is in the lead is the male of the of the pated pair. The second bird is an is an unmated male chasing his rival from an, from the area where he hopes to where he hopes to make The second bird is an unmated male chasing his rival from from the area where he hopes to nest. The third is the female of the mated pair, which 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 seems to go along for the ride. Morning doves tend to feed feed bus, bus busily on the ground, swallowing swallowing seeds. There it goes again. Swallowing seed, swallowing seeds and storing them in, in an enlargement. It's somewhere up there. Storing seeds in an enlargement of the esophagus so called the crop. They, once they, once they, once they filled it, the record is 17,200 bluegrass seeds in a single crop. They can fly to a safe perch to digest the meal. Morning doves eat roughly 12 to 20 percent of their body weight per day, or 71 calories on average. Perhaps one reason why morning does survive in the, in the desert, they can drink br brackish spring water up to up to almost half the solidity of seawater without becoming dehydrated the way humans would. The morning dove is the most wait who knew wait who knew right? The morning dove is the most widespread and abundant game bird in North America. Every year, hunters harvest more than 20, 20 million, but but the morning does remain one of the most abundant birds with the, with the U.S. population estimated at 30, 3, 350 million. The oldest known morning dove was a male and at least 30 years, 4 months old, when he was shot in Florida in 1998. He, he had been branded in Georgia, Georgia in 19, 1968. I hope that bird comes back before this film, before it comes, before the film ends. Otherwise, I'll have to cut it off. And I hate. And by the way, I hate. By the way, you hearing that? You hearing this? You hearing? You hearing that sound? I mean, I'm trying to keep mosquitoes away. I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> if you hate mosquitoes too, leave it. Tell, tell me. All right. Here's, here's a song, here's its song. Here's its wing whistle. Did you hear that? Sure you did. Well, 
Well, that's it. The song, the song, or per perco is given mainly by unmated males from from the conspicuous perch. It is a soft coo, -coo followed by two, two or three louder coos. Calls you often hear. You can often hear paired males give the three-parted nest call while nesting, nest building a coo 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 highest in the middle. Females sometimes call ooh 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 while sitting on the nest. Other sounds when. When talking up and landing, morning does wings make a loud whistling, whistling that may help startle predators or warn flock flock mates. They they also can clap their wings together during takeoff, much the much the way rock pigeons do. All right, if you want. All right. Till that bird till that bird comes back, I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna continue with him, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take take a break from talking. So. See? Take. See? See you later. See you later. Wasn't that incredible? Oh, wait. Wasn't that incredible? Anyway, I'll come. Help. I'll check back. Check back on the ne nest every day. Every day until the birds hatch. And when the birds hatch, then I'm gonna. I'm gonna film it for bird. Bird of birds hatch. I'm gonna film it so you can all so you can all can see it. Anyway, until next time. Bye. Bye bye.